and welcome everyone to the Strumzy community call of 11th November 2024. November. So, January, whatever. <laughs> so we have the recording. Oh, it's because it's 11, that's November. That's confusing me. Uh, I added two PRs to the list. Uh, this one is about the configuration of the default cruise control topics. But Kyle is not in this call because he's in the in the US, so maybe we should leave that for next time. Yeah. And then another one is uh, this strange issue with the unidirectional topic operator. Uh, Tom Bentley, do you think you will have a chance to have a look at it? Yeah, I'll try and look at that this week. Okay. Uh, anyone has any other ER they would want to discuss? If not, then uh, I don't think there's much new about the proposals, the craft feature gate promotion proposal was approved and merged uh, last week. Uh, there were also some updates to the tiered storage proposal from Federico, uh, from from some users from Apple and uh, the topic replication factor change proposal from Federico. Uh, so please have a look at those. And there's also the proposal around the quota management, which seemed to get stuck. So please have a look at it if you have some comments about it, because if nobody cares to comment there, then it doesn't make sense and I will probably close it. Uh, anyone wants to raise any other proposals? If not, then the issue triage is next. So the first uh, issue is actually from me. Uh, it's about the logging in the unidirectional topic operator, which on the default info level doesn't lock basically anything and when you switch to the debug level then it seems to forever lock things like this about some empty batch and then only once in a while it decides to dump some yamas into the lock none of these things seems really optimal so i think there is some work needed to make sure the logging is a bit more useful and have a bit more reasonable verbosity. Anyone has any comments on that? So maybe we should uh, move that uh, removing batch, which you show to the trace to remove such. 
or that's my thought. I don't know if you should come up with the exact steps, what should be moved where here, but. Yeah, I'm not yet the expert on the unidirectional topic operator, but this debug trace printing a lot of lines in the same second seems too much. Uh, so I guess that the expert, I don't know, Fed at home should try to, yeah, to, um, to understand if they are really useful in general. So moving debug to trace makes sense, or uh, maybe we can have some higher level debug around this batching stuff. Yeah, I think it just needs somebody to have a look at it and make sure that we're not spamming at debug. Okay. So I guess we keep this. Yes. I don't know if you want to give it any any labels, I guess not really. There's a topic operator label, isn't there? We should probably have oh, right. One. That's that's correct. Okay. The next issue is also from me. I think it's fairly straightforward. It's about the problem that by default some of the cruise control topics are created with replication factor 2 and minincing replicas 2 which doesn't seem to be like the right approach and doesn't seem to make much sense and they should either have replication factor 2 and minincing replicas 1 or replication factor three and main sync replicas two or something like that. Uh, that's actually the the PR which Kyle already opened, but which I think needs a bit more discussion. So I guess we want to keep it. I guess silence means agreement in this case. And Sky is already looking into it. I don't think we need any other labels. So this issue is from some user who connector don't seem to reconcile, but he also doesn't seem to have any Kafka cluster in the same namespace, uh, Kafka connect cluster. So that seems expected. So I don't think there's any bug here. At least it doesn't seem so. Maybe we should convert it to discussion. What do you think? Yep, fine with me.
the next one is about the threads blocked in the in the all bidirectional topic operator. I would suggest to close it as we closed all the other issues for the all topic operator as we are not really planning to fix that and suggest to use the unit to upgrade and use the unidirectional topic operator. Yeah, I think so. You you also got a thumbs up from the user, so maybe he seems to be okay. Ah, uh, million typos. And the last issue was opened yesterday. about some Kafka exporter dashboard issue, but to be honest, I never saw it in my Grafana. So I'm not sure when or why does it happen. I'm not sure anyone understands Grafana enough to have some opinion. The the user is mentioning using 30 topics and 30 consumer groups. So I have never run a test like this, to be honest. So maybe he's, he's right. I don't know. The only thing that uh, he managed to have a different dashboard using regular expression to get all consumers and all topics metrics which I don't think is the right thing to do. I mean, having a different Grafana, but yeah, I don't have out of the box a solution for this. So do we want to more investigate it or do we want to move it to help wanted or? Yeah, I would say that help wanted would be okay. Uh, if maybe this user can help with that, but not having a duplicated dashboard, so thinking more about a different solution. Well, I don't think he suggests the different dashboard is the right solution. No, no, yes, yes. It was something that he tried and got it working as a kind of workaround. So like this, and we add the help wanted label on it. Yep. Okay. And that's it for the issue triage. which takes us to the end of the agenda. So does anyone have any 
other business or anything else to raise? I had one thing. Um, a couple of calls ago, we discussed archiving the topic encryption um, GitHub repository. Um, I just wonder if, I think we said that um, we were going to see if there was any feedback from anywhere in the community and then go I, ahead and... I think we already decided last time. Right. That we will archive it. I don't think okay. it happened yet, but yeah, we will get right. to it. That was my comment. It hadn't happened yet. I was just wondering if we'd met the conditions. Yeah. Uh, anyone, anything else? Well, just mentioning maybe even here that uh, our, um, so, uh, you know, that Streamzy was, uh, we, we applied Streamzy for the promotion to incubation. And uh, now our TOC sponsor uh, started the um, public comment period and it will end uh, January 20 if I remember correctly. So uh, the due diligence document is now open for feedback and comment. If you have any, please do. Mm, and then, yeah, after January 23, they should open the vote in order to promote or not the project to incubation. Right. Anything else? In that case, I guess that's it. And thanks for joining and see you next time. Thank see you. you. Bye. Thank you.